Hello everyone, soon said here. We're back playing some Forager. Today I kind of want to get some of those things built that were uh, kind of locked behind our inability to get Royal Steel. Although, what was it? It was like, oh, it was industrial. That's right. So, I keep forgetting up here. I have this guy right here. And I can make plastic now. We oh, need royal clothing for that? This stuff's expensive. Oh, I can make this. Let's make that. The skull wallet? So, I think the next thing I'm gonna buy, as far as the islands are concerned, are, or I guess rather, is something over here. So, maybe this one right here. The one that's $4,000. The one I have 82. Ooh, the ballista. Wait, wait, hold up. Oh, I'm making attacks nearby enemies. Ooh, let's build some of those. Let's build some ballistas. Okay. Um, this is the radius it fires at. So, I guess let's put a ballista. I don't want it near the beat just in case it decides that that's an enemy. And there's the skull wallet. Coins are worth 75% more. That's pretty good. There we go. So we have two ballistas in this area. And I'm going to build one right where that bug is. Hopefully this doesn't fire on my, on my beat. Okay, no, we're, no, we're fine. Okay. So now we're pretty, we're pretty covered with, like, as I say that, there's, like, a skeleton dude running around. But we're pretty covered as far as, like, safety-wise, at least down below. I'm still waiting on that stupid death moth thing. And I think, if I have any leftover royal steel, for right now, I'm gonna put a mining thing up here. Hopefully it's not, like, really annoying. Oh, I need two electronics for that. Alright, so we have that cooking. I'm gonna get some more topaz in here. What is that? Oh, I need that. A sunken onk. I think that's how you say that. Oh, I almost forgot about the, um, the guy up above. It's dangerous to go alone. Take these. Dude, what? You just gave me a turd? My bird friend told me about a, the existence of Golden Egg. In all my years, I have never seen one. I would sure like to, though. If only someone was young and, and awesome enough to find one for me. Oh, there you go. You're in luck. This is surprisingly underwhelming. <laughs> it won't hatch into a lovely bird friend. And I can't even eat it. Those are the only purposes of an egg. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's see what he gave me. The Lunar Medallion. Point to the location of the nearest star. Star falls happen more frequently. That's pretty good. I mean, I don't know. I mean, I don't know how much more frequently, but I guess that's fine. I'm so stupid. This is a freaking... <laughs> this is one of these things. The Obelisk. And I think this one's specifically for, like, combat or something. It's a lumberjacking one. <laughs> that's, 
That's so worthless, but in comparison, I feel like. Wait, do trees not count as, like, forgeables? Like, do they not count as, like, a, like a plant? That really doesn't make any sense. <gasps> Ooh, a death moth! We finally got one! Dude, you went in the wrong spot, man. So now I can make another purple pit- wait, no! I can already make a wizard scroll! Craft one. I guess the tree one's probably best for over here because I don't think those consider are considered like mining the tombstones. I think this is probably also the best area for XP. Because you can get it pretty quickly. So yeah, like, see, like, you get 15 for that and like 20 for that. That's like 35 XP. Like, on average, it's probably more like, yeah, probably around 35 XP. Okay, I think we have that scroll. Actually, just went into my inventory. So let's go put that in the museum and complete another collection. There we go. I can look like an elf or something. Maybe I'm missing the reference. Ooh, what's this? A merchant medallion points at the location of a secret merchant. Market restock time is reduced by 25%. I feel like I'm a little bit behind as far as, like, XP gaining. Because I don't have those mining things up and running that are constantly mining, constantly giving me, giving me XP. Okay, so the next thing I want to get is definitely one of those mining rods. And I'm going to use it up in that crystal place. There you are. Ooh, there we go. Thank you, sir. Wait, did I just spend $1,000 on that spirit orb thing? I kind of just bought it and didn't even think of it. That sucks. I mean, that's good, but also, I, I thought it'd be like, I don't know, like 500 or something. Alright, I have to go see if those banks have any money in them so I can buy on buy an island. Because making money is taking a long time when I'm just hitting things. I under I don't understand why this one makes so little in comparison to all the others. Because it's it's surrounded by like maybe it's like we're not directly next to one or something. That might be it. I don't really know. Alright, we can buy this one now, so let's buy this island real quick. There's a jester. <laughs> All right. That's going to do it for today's episode. In the next one, we're definitely going to be talking to this jester to see what's up. He's probably got to give us something good, right? Maybe he just plays a trick on us or something. I mean, I, I don't really know. <laughs> well, have a nice night, morning, afternoon, evening, whatever it is. Peace out. And thanks for watching.